fuck is this nigga, man? You know he white, right? You should know he white. He a fucking white boy. No. He just light skin. Warning. The ignorance featured in the following video may overwhelm, incapacitate, and quite frankly scare some viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Look, motherfucker. Look, motherfucker. You have taken me. Look, motherfucker. You have taken me out of retirement, all right? Look, 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 motherfucker. You have taken me out of retirement, all right? This is this is the face reveal addressing your ass video. Look, look motherfucker. Look, motherfucker, motherfucker, you have taken me out of retirement, all right? This is this is the face reveal addressing your ass video. Look, reviews are not bothered. They are hard earned. They are from big titties and other sources of low engagement fucking content, all right? That, and other sources of low engagement fucking big titties, big titties, big titties, big titties, hard earned. The eyes tried to stall me, so I hit him with the cobra. Had to pull a post stall maneuver on these motherfuckers, man. I just want to mock general speaking, you feel me? Hey, listen. We is not painting our nails. We is not doing all that emo shit. No. We not doing that. We promoting violence. We promoting violence. We promoting violence. Promoting gangs. Promoting drugs. We're not, we're not speaking against no gun violence over here, man. I ain't promoting violence. Well, yeah, I just said I was, so I can't say that shit. Shout out to China back. I was going to say some shit. Why he don't be rapping no more, bro? Yeah, that, that first shit he dropped was hit. I'm not going to hold you. That 0 to 100 shit China Mac dropped was hit. You just think about going back to back bundles. Yeah. You know, trying to get, trying to make the start back up Mac Ventures when Crip Man went to jail. And I was like, man, nah, something better gonna come along. Sure enough, it seemed like it did. Which is funny. But yeah, we promoting violence over here. This real life rap over here. This real life living, you feel me? We not doing that weird shit. You wanna dye your hair? All right, I'm, I'm gonna give you that. You wanna do that? Whatever. We're not doing the paint the nails. We're not doing the tight clothes. We're not doing designer brands. Unless it's like sunglasses or watches or shit like that. Shit that's actually like uh, either not worth anything comparatively or shit that's worth something uh, in the long run. It's going to accumulate. Uh, I got a big problem with a lot of these uh, motherfuckers coming out now. You know what I'm saying? Fucking the whole shit up. Fucking up the whole motion, bro. There was a time in this culture, bro, where I don't mean this in the wrong way, so don't take it like that, please. Please don't take it like that. There was a time in this culture where this culture was uh I really wanna say this the right way so it doesn't piss off the rainbow hair people. Um this culture was for us by us. You feel me? Yeah, there was some people on the DL and shit, probably, whatever, but there wasn't the whole paint the nails, all that weird shit, bro. Like, when, 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 when motherfuckers started doing the skinny jeans, bro, like, I never bought into that. That was my generation that started that, and I never bought into that shit. That was my generation that started that shit in rap music, and I never bought into that shit, period. I bought like, nah, there was some shit, but I didn't wear it to like, like, I, I bought one pair of skinny shits to wear for a costume for a wrestling rap, but, uh, that was us uh, filling in for, but there, that was the only time was for a ring attire. I never, ever, because tights is expensive, man, I'd rather, if it came down to skinny jeans or tights, rather, you know what I'm saying, they looked like they was wrestling shit, they was some zebra print, that's why I was like, I can't even really call them skinny jeans, because they was like zebra print. They look like the Disco Inferno shits, but they was tight. And uh, I copped that shit at Hot Topic for like 10 bucks. I was just at the mall. I had this filming match I had to get ready for. And like, you know, by, by the end of the week. So I was like, yo, these is 10 bucks on sale. We just got them. Never, never bought another pair of skinny jeans. Never wore those in any other context. Um, 
Other than that, I was trying to be cheap so I could like not spend money to make, well, I had to spend money, but only spend dollars, spend $10 to make money. Either way, so um, that's that's where we're at with this culture. Like I brought that, the read the context up to explain like, I was never gonna try to bring that into rap music. I was trying to keep that out of rap music. That's a separate context, you feel what I'm saying? You think Booker T would be out walking down the street wearing the Harlem Heat tights every day? I don't care how gangster the Harlem Heat is, bro. It's like, he know how that would look. If you, that was just every day, I mean, even if he was Booker T, like, yo, every day you just go down outside wearing these flaming ass, tight ass spandex pants, bro. Like, how does that look? I don't care if you're from Harlem. How does that look? <laughs> he knows this, so it's not even disrespectful. But, like, there's a there's a place and a space for everything, right? And uh, we used to have a, a place and a space for rappers. Like, and I think that's, not even I think, I know that's why, no matter how many people try to push me towards the rock shit, no matter how much I know the rock shit with, brand partnerships and sponsorships from like guitar companies or mirrors companies or pedal companies, amp companies, whatever, would advance my shit more in the direction I want to go, I'm always going to hang on to the rap music, bro. I'm being a nurse at home rapping, bro. I'm not going to hold you. It's just that important to me, bro. It's just that important to me. They, they could stop putting all the money that they want into rap music. They could stop and try to stop it. Like, Cause I've been seeing this since, ever since Oliver Anthony dropped, I've been seeing this where it's like, they trying to do whatever they can. I think that was the point beyond Rod Wave and a lot of the shit, that's no disrespect. Um, they trying to branch it back out into singing. It's like, they, they think, they like, oh shit, now these motherfuckers just think rapping is singing. And all of them rapping, none of them can sing. We got, we got to fix that. I think they didn't want rap to last this long. I don't think there was an intent of it lasting past the 90s and then Lil Wayne came out and that carried that shit. And that's sort of what I'm trying to do. That's sort of like where I'm at, where I have a studio, multiple studios in my career. Like I know how to do this shit I'm doing. I have the means to support this shit when no one else will. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so I'm just always gonna be right. That's just always gonna be me. They could they could stop making free beats. I'm gonna use the free beats that's all up on here already because there's billions of them. And I'm just you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna make my own beats. If, if they even took all that, I would make my own beats, bro. Everything I record is is anal not analog semi analog. You know why? That's why I have like its own tone to it. The actual master file because uh, I, I record directly onto an SD card. The, the computer's not involved in the process at all. So they can't control that. You see what I'm saying? That was my whole thing with how I wanted this. I will, it was almost like I seen this shit coming with the, uh, you know, them trying to like, whatever Microsoft said they was trying to do with limiting people's ability to play Xbox and shit. Like, made me glad I ain't buying an Xbox. But still, I just seen where shit was going. It started originally because I know the NSA like, what, what Snowden said, he was like, yo, like, one of the biggest things they do is ideological theft. So straight up, spy on what you're doing, see your ideas. If you have something that's worth taking or worth taking and giving to somebody else or something, they'll do that shit. They'll do that shit. There was a lot of times I seen, like, tracks I was working on. And, like, that's why I'm so guarded about, like, tracks that I haven't released yet. Extremely guarded. Like, um, and I don't, I, I just try not to get that shit. I try to get that shit out before someone else sees what I'm doing and they come in, you know? Because I literally have seen shit that I've been typing in Facebook Messenger and I'm pretty sure the NSA saw that shit and gave it to certain rappers. I'm not going to say who or none of that, but it's happened a couple times with a couple songs I was literally just about to drop. And then it happened on my first tape. It happened on the deluxe edition of White Devil, bro. I've done White Devil Deluxe. There's a song on there that it happened with. Y'all got to figure that out for yourself. But like I said, man, we just, I had to do this because I did the Lil Jumex video. And uh, I realized, like, I was like, yo, I really got to speak on that shit because this shit all fucked up right now, bro. Like, it, I listen, love who you want to love. If you gay, that's, that's okay. That's not a problem, bro. But you're not going to be coming over here fucking up our rap music. And making that shit, you're like, no, you're just not.
there will always be people like me who, if you do that type of shit, bro, like, we not gonna fuck with you. It might be worse than that. If we know that it's it's a it's a sweet lick, yeah, it might be worse than that. So uh, I just had to say that shit, man. It's no fly zone out here. We promoting violence. We promoting gangs. We promoting drug abuse. You know what I'm saying? Rich gang member, Ice Lord, Ice Lord Mafia General. I'm out this bitch. Speedball Ice Lord Mafia.